Hey everyone! Welcome back to your favorite pirate crew! Today we're going to see about the most powerful conqueror's hockey. If you'd like to see more about One Piece in our channel, please leave your thumbs up and subscribe to join our pirate crew! With the Wano arc finally coming to an end, after so many chapters and long fights, our characters became even more powerful. Thanks not only to the training they went through, but also to the adversities that they had to deal with, so that they can face all the powerful enemies there. That said, many of the Straw Hats demonstrated great competence and absurd abilities in combat surviving incredible things and dealing with problems that challenge their ideologies, as in every arc, really. In particular, our captain, Luffy, showed what he was made of. Not only was he able to fight normally head-to-head -head with Kaido, one of the Yonkuos, but he was also awakened as Joy Boy, and thus was revealed as being able to easily defeat such an enemy in an epic and incredible scene. That said, we can easily say that he has indeed grown stronger, to the point of even perhaps becoming able to take on other characters that are just as powerful. Characters that still stand as enemies, like Akainu, as an example. Would Luffy, with his current abilities, be able to defeat Akainu and finally avenge what he did against Ace? And that's what we're here to talk about in today's video. But before we discuss a fight between these two characters, we should remember a little bit about the abilities of the two. In particular, how powerful Akainu really is. Sakazuki, known by his nickname Akainu, is the current admiral of the Navy fleet, succeeding the previous fleet admiral, Sengoku. During the first half of the work, he was one of the three three admirals of the work, but eventually rose to his position as Fleet Admiral after defeating Kuzen in a 10-day duel that left Punk Hazard in its current state, half being frozen and half in flames. One of the first decisions was to move the Navy headquarters to the New World in preparation for the new era of pirates. Akainu, due to his actions and ideologies, was one of the main adversaries and antagonists of the Marine Ford Art, and was one of the main, if not the main person responsible for Ace's capture and and death. After all, Sakazuki is a close follower of the famous Absolute Justice, that which is said to be the code of conduct for all sailors. Absolute Justice is nothing more than a way to deal with pirates, or rather, with all troublemakers in general, giving no room for any exceptions within justice, and requiring that all criminals be punished severely. This point of Sakazuki's strong belief even led him to confront his colleague Aokiji, the latter having opposed his promotion to Fleet Admiral and resigning from the Marines after his failure. That said, and after his actions within Marine Ford, the character became one of the main antagonists in the entire One Piece series. And now that we've recalled a little bit of his background, how about we talk a little bit about his strengths and abilities? Maybe a lot. It has been clearly stated that all Vice Admirals possess hockey, this being demonstrated when we saw Kainu making use of weapons hockey to stop Whitebeard's attack on Marine Ford, along with his two other fellow Admirals, Kizaru and Aokichi. Sakazuki ingested a Legia class of Kuma Nomi, Magu Magu Nomi, the Magma Fruit, which grants the bearer the power to control, transform, and produce magma. Any attack that hits him becomes magma, causing him to not get hurt or feel any pain. The only way to hurt him is with Weapon Hockey, King's Hockey, or Keroseki, the latter of which being naturally occurring, though apparently rare, sustenance that can drain the energy of Akuma Nomi users, to the point where they cannot even consciously control it. Dr. Vegapunk has come up with revolutionary ways to use this rare sustenance. Sailors seem to have it in large quantities, using it in cells, handcuffs, weapons, and on battleship hulls. And according to Baisley Hawkins, it originated in Wano. That being said, we realize it's not easy to face him. Akainu was repeatedly shown piercing enemies with ease, using his fists in magma, making Ace even a donut. Just kidding! He was responsible for completing destruction of Moby Dick. His Akuma Nomi is a kind of improved and more powerful version of Ace's Mira Mira Nomi, piercing even Jinbei's body without much effort. The main techniques we've seen so far from Akainu boil down to turning his entire arm into a gigantic magma fist and then throwing it forward to unleash a large attack on countless meteors, creating a meteor shower that hits an area on a large scale. Following the method of the previous attack, Akainu could create a wave of volcanic roses shaped like a dog's head, which probably gave rise to the name Sakazuki. He could turn his body into a high thrust magma claw, being powerful enough to damage even half of Whitebeard's face. Akainu's attacks not only cause this destruction, but can also carry highly explosive properties. One attack is enough to cause an explosion capable of inflicting massive damage across the entire battlefield. In the anime, the Sakuma Nomi also carries concussive force, as Akainu had enough power to engage in combat with Whitebeard and his earthquake fist. When it comes to travel, it can move at extremely high speeds, launching itself like an explosion from an actual volcano towards its target, and can even melt a solid earth and rocks to make underground tunnels to get around. So far, this is all the information we have regarding a 
Kainu's current powers and strengths. However, it is very possible that he has many more abilities after the time skip, and may even have become a thousand times stronger than what we've seen so far. Now how's about we get to taking a look at the capabilities of a captain of the Straw Hats, huh? Luffy, despite his relatively small physique, and compared to most of the most powerful fighters in the entire world, has quite a significant physical strength to match. Not only from the initial training he received from his grandfather Garp, but also after his training during time skip and battles after that. After all, he did fight absurdly powerful people. A notable example of this strength was in Dressrosa when he used his foot to block a stump from Don Quixicote da Flamingo, a man almost twice his height with immense physical power of his own without any leverage. When he was in prison in the land of Wano, he wore Karoseki handcuffs that weakened him significantly and prevented him from using his Akumanomi powers, and he exploited his prison work as a new training method to get stronger in his weakened state. Being able to lift and carry hundreds of blocks several times his size, and a few days later, he was able to break through Deputy Warden Dai Fuego's helmet and wound him with a simple kick. Although, however, in the fight against Akainu, he may not make direct use of physical strength due to the use of his opponent's Akumanomi. The fact is that the Mugiwara would not lose when it comes to physical strength, mentally. Luffy is also quite resilient, although the memories about Ace can make him nervous and unsettle him quite a bit. Luffy possesses tremendous speed, agility, and reflexes. He has shown the ability to dodge a considerable amount of Sweet Commander's attacks, as well as all of Katakuri's attacks, with his Magura Trident. The factor of Luffy being able to see into the future with his observation hockey helps him considerably in his dodging. During his fight with Kaido on Onigashima, the captain was able to partially dodge Kaido's Rebehake attack, despite the young Kuo being able to move at almost blinding speeds. Our protagonist also showed the ability to withstand large amounts of physical punishment, while still remaining conscious and able to fight. He possesses immense endurance stemming from his great durability and willpower. Luffy single-handedly made his way out of whole cake chateau and defeated every enemy he encountered, despite still being extremely weak from fatigue and hunger. Although he is prone to making strange and often bad decisions while fighting, Luffy possesses a strange instinct that often leads him to perform atypical actions that end up helping him. He also possesses tremendous creativity and often comes up with unusual methods to advance in a fight, which during a fight with Akainu could help him deal with his abilities with magma that at first glance seem to make him nearly impossible to defeat by ordinary methods. Luffy is also among the small number of people in the world that can use all three types of hockey. Something even more remarkable about our captain is that he managed to master the basics of all of them in just a year and a half. And even before he discovered what hockey was, Blackbeard noticed that Luffy's hockey got stronger around the time of the mass escape in Impel Down compared to his first encounter in Jaya. Through fighting and training with powerful hockey users in the world, particularly those related to the four emperors in addition to the emperors themselves, Luffy strengthened each hockey to a greater degree. We mustn't forget to mention about his Akumanomi. After all, during the Wanu country arc, it was revealed that it was actually of the mythical Zoan type, being the Hito Hitonomi, model Nika, which allows the users to become an incarnation of Nika, the sun god. This grants Luffy's body a rubber physiology and allows him to fight however he wants, as long as he can imagine. In addition to being able to stretch his body, allowing his blows to extend to long distances, dodge blows, and launch himself like a slingshot, Luffy can use and abuse his creativity with the fruit while fighting. He also cannot be hurt by blunt attacks, not imbued with armor hockey, including punches, blunt weapons, and even being stumped on by giant opponents. With the awakening of Gear 5, Luffy showed himself to be stronger and faster than before, being able to even impart the properties of rubber to his surrounding environment, activating this ability even on enemies in a way that closely resembled the famous Toon Force. In the manga, when we saw this ability in action, the character fights in ways absurd enough to break the laws of physics, with funny pictures that make no logical sense, but that were super effective in defeating Kaido, one of the Yankuos. Interesting to think that he was even able to reflect a Kaido attack by turning the ground into rubber, which might imply that he could do the same with any attack that would normally cause an explosion or great destruction. In fact, Luffy has gotten insanely stronger since the time skip. We can't deny that a fight with a Kainu under the conditions we've cited and know so far could have our protagonist come out easily victorious in this one. And with the use of Gear 5, then it would definitely be a wonderful beating to watch.
However, we can't just assume that this particular power should only be possible to activate under certain conditions, and should cause great consequences to his body too, which could perhaps be used as a last resort. But beyond that, we can't forget that it's very likely that we don't even know yet how powerful Akainu actually is. After all, we've only seen just a little bit of his powers and techniques in action, so in a fight that pushes them both to their limits, it's possible that cards up the sleeve will be pulled. But we're not going to be able to know for some time now, right? At least until the Wanu arc finally wraps up and we've been introduced to One Piece's early awaited new grandiose war arc after a few years or months from now. But what about you? Do you think Luffy could stand up to Akainu as he is now? Do you think Akainu is much more powerful than he seems? Let us know in the comments what you think this insane fight will be like. Well, that's it, Mamugiwata. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any suggestions for a video, don't forget to comment below, please, because I'll be reading them all as I always do. Also, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any content from your pirate crew.